Hi, my name is Chris, and we are continuing in our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I would love to share with you for just a moment today what it looks like to pray protection over you, your family, your loved ones, both spiritually and physically. Our world is filled with events and situations that can cause great fear and anxiety. It's easy to become overwhelmed and live with fear, but we're promising God's word that He is faithful and will protect us. In times of trouble, it can be challenging to find peace and assurance in the middle of the chaos. But the Bible offers us countless promises of protection. These promises remind us of God's care for us and His power over the enemy and evil forces. That can bring us comfort and hope when we face difficult circumstances. God wants us to let go of the fear and to live life to the fullest. So let's never underestimate what the power of prayer can do in any situation. God knows exactly what we need when we need it. So whether you're calling for protection on yourself, your home, your children, your business, know that the Lord is listening and He will answer when the time is right. If you need a powerful daily prayer to give you strength, a prayer of protection will calm your anxieties and remind you that the Lord is keeping watch. One of my favorite prayers over protection is Psalm 91. It says, starting in verse nine, if you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. I know in the Barber household, we have lots of angels camping around our whole property. Our four kids are busy and have an opportunity to do a lot of crazy things. But specifically, Psalm 91 was so evident in our home a couple of years ago. I remember looking at Brandon and we both realized that one of our kiddos was not in the room. They were in the back of the house doing something. So my first thought was, Avery's not here. And my second thought, the Holy Spirit said the word scissors. So scissors is kind of scary, but I looked at Brandon and I said, we need to go find Avery. So we walk in our bathroom and we found Avery. She had taken the little toddler stool that we use to push up against the counter to wash our hands and scooted it over to the bathroom drawers. And she had a pair of scissors in her hands and it was this close to her little cute face. So that could have been a really bad situation, but because we pray Psalm 91 and because of God's promises of protection, my sweet girl is safe today. So I wanna take the opportunity to pray protection over you and your family today. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for your promises. We know that each and every one that you wrote in your word is intentional to help keep us safe and to live a life of blessing and victory. And so Father, today I pray over everyone listening, protection from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I pray protection spiritually and physically. I pray against any evil forces that might be coming against them. We know that your promises for us are yes and amen, and we know that you are faithful. So in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.